I'm Steve Atkin from IBM and I'm going to show you today how you can actually build APIs using OpenWhisk with API Connect. And for those of you who have watched my previous video, I showed you how you can build an API using API Connect with the internal implementation uh, being built with Node-RED that connected to a cloud and database. So we're going to be connecting uh, once again like we did before to a cloud and database, but this time rather than using Node-RED for our internal API implementation, we're going to use IBM's new OpenWhisk technology. And OpenWhisk technology is an event-driven compute um, technology that enables us to actually create actions that we can um, host on a server without us actually having to configure or build out a server ourselves. So let me show you what we're going to do here first um, and that is uh, connect to our cloud and database and here I have my cloud and database that I used before um, and I've defined a MapReduce view there that you see and what we'll do is we'll actually connect to that MapReduce view um, through OpenWhisk. So let me show you the OpenWhisk actions that we'll be using here. So we're going to define an OpenWhisk action called Summary and that's going to connect to our cloud and database, collect our MapReduce view and then when we get that response we're going to want to format that and we're going to create a formatter action and then what we'll be doing is we'll actually be creating a chained OpenWhisk action that will first call the summary, take its output, and use that as input into the formatter action. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Um, after you've installed OpenWhisk and um, you've properly configured that and set up all your credentials, you can go ahead and start creating actions. So the first one we'll do is um, create, our, create our formatter. So let's go do that. And then um, let's also create our, um, our summary action as, as well. So go ahead and do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain these uh, uh, together. So we're going to create a new action. And that action is going to be called claims. And it'll be a sequence action. First it'll call summary. Um, then it'll call uh, formatter. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we've got our, our actions built and we've got everything chained together. Uh, and so now we can actually uh, use the RESTful API endpoint that OpenWhisk provides uh, for you um, to call your API. Um, if you look at my blog entry, you'll see um, how the pattern is formed for actually calling uh, the RESTful API endpoints. Um, so you go ahead and you follow the pattern where you replace your namespace and your particular action um, with the appropriate values. So let me switch over to uh, API Connect, and here we've got the API Designer. Um, here I'm going to click on the Invoke action. You can see I've already pasted in uh, the URL for accessing OpenWhisk, and in particular my action. Uh, don't forget to, you've got to put in your username and password uh, for accessing OpenWhisk, and be sure to set your HTTP method to post. And you can get your username and password for OpenWhisk from the OpenWhisk um, command line interface configuration page. You'll see it uh, presented there for you. Uh, once you've actually um, built out your API, um, you got everything configured, you can just uh, simply publish that out to Bluemix to whatever appropriate catalog you're using. And once you've done that, uh, you can access your API just like you would any other. Um, here I've got uh, my development uh, portal for um, API Connect showing. And all I need to do is simply uh, click on uh, call operation here. Um, and you'll see here in a few moments we'll get the response back from our from our API. And there you have it. Uh, you know, we have now called our OpenWhisk RESTful API endpoint action, um, which in turn um, accesses the uh, MapReduce view out on Cloudin. And we did this without actually having to configure any server um, at all. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're able to do this rather quickly without having to go through any complicated steps of configuring a server um, at all. So thanks for watching and uh, good luck.